In his study of the Galapagos finches, Charles Darwin noted that the beaks of various birds evolve to suit the ecological niche or role that they fill. Their niche is defined by what they eat and how they find food, their preferred habitat, where they nest, and many other factors. So while many bird species may be similar in some ways, they all have at least slightly different ways of doing things which helps reduce competition for food. The shape of their beak is one trait that evolved based on filling their food niche. So let's take a look at the shape of various bird beaks and use their shape as a link to determine what and how they eat. Let's start by looking at birds that have a long narrow beak shaped somewhat like a straw. Why do you use a straw? To reach down into a glass, right? Birds such as the curlew and sandpiper are shore birds and they use their straw-like bill to reach deep into the sand, water, and mud to find small insects, crabs, and similar type foods. The hummingbird uses its straw-like beak to reach way down deep inside a flower to suck out the nectar, and the woodcock reaches deep into the soft dirt and mud to find a tasty worm. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you find birds that eat seeds and nuts from plants. They have developed short, powerful, and heavy beaks that help break open the outer shell of hard seeds and nuts to allow them access to the tender meat inside. Such birds like goldfinches and grosbeaks are regularly seen at backyard bird feeders because they are attracted to the very foods that we put out for them. The tissue on the end of the beak of such birds is very hard and dead tissue. But in other birds such as ducks and geese, the tip of the bill is very sensitive and contains nerves so that they can locate their food by feel. Their bill also contains a filter system on the edges. These two characteristics evolve to allow such birds to feed by using their bill as a strainer, sweeping it around in the water and mud, feeling for seeds, plants, and small crustaceans. They take water and food in together, then expel the water through their filter system which prevents the food from washing out. Woodpeckers are another bird who catch slow-moving food, in fact so slow that their food usually isn't moving at all. With their chisel-like beak, they hammer into decaying wood, opening up small holes that allow them to probe inside and pull out burrowing insects and grubs. Many land birds have perfected the art of catching flying insects, and their beaks play a major role in their success. A pincher-like bill, such as that of a flycatcher or a mockingbird, with its fine tip, Sharp edges and slightly hooked end is perfect for grasping caterpillars, beetles, and other insects found among the foliage of trees and bushes. And still other birds are specialists at catching fast-moving water creatures like frogs and fish. Such birds like the great blue heron, the loon, and kingfisher are perfect examples of this with their long, chisel-like beak that is perfect for grasping a wiggly fish or snake. They move with lightning-quick reflexes, moving their spear-like beak to quickly reach out and nab their food before it gets away. How they propel their beak after food varies widely. Herons jab their spear with their long neck. The kingfisher dives in the water from above, and the loon swims after their meal. There's always the odd one of the group, and the pelican fits this role perfectly. No other bird contains the bucket-type mouth of a pelican, which plunges into the water and uses its beak like a large net. And finally, how about birds of prey like eagles, owls, and hawks? These are birds that have powerful legs and feet with very sharp claws, designed for holding on to a squirming meal like a rabbit or a mouse. So they catch their food with their feet instead of their beak. So what sort of beak do you think they'll need? Birds of prey have a beak that is hooked downward with sharp edges like a meat hook, perfect for tearing flesh off of the carcass of their prey. Other meat-eating birds like the vulture find food that's already dead, but uses a similar shaped beak to tear their food. So as you can see, by understanding the shape of a bird's beak, you can dig deep into their niche and determine just what they eat.